Good morning, Pastor students and staff. Today is Friday, August 26, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll recognize a moment of silence. Thank you, everyone. Our announcements for today are as follows. Congratulations to all of our students of the month for the month of August. Our celebration took place this morning and was a big success. So a big thank you to all of our teachers who helped us to recognize our students of the month here on campus and also for inviting our parents and families. Just a reminder that Snack Shack has returned and will be available every day after school at dismissal. If you are a bus rider, remember that food items may not be eaten on the bus, but you can hold on to your food items in your backpack until you are off the bus. At this time, we have a very special presentation from our candidates for student council. Please see. Hi, my name is Sergio A.K. Jr. and I'm running, I'm in uh, Ms. Clark's class, sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I'm running for uh, student president because I, I've always wanted to make the world a better place and, you know, make people better and it's always been my dream to, you know, change the world, I guess. Hi, my name is Sol, a.k.a. Angel. I'm in sixth grade in Ms. Benzor's class and this is why you should vote for me to be president. I have some really good ideas to change up the school a little so it could be a little better and a little more safer place for students to let out their emotions in school. Hi, uh, my name is Rogelio. I'm in Ms. Thomas' class. Um, I want to run for president because make the school a happy place and no one around here has to be negative. Uh, really, I just want to make it a happy place. I'll listen to everyone if I become president, make this place a happy place. Oh, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm an eighth grade from Miss Thomas' is home. And I want to be student council president because I would like to change some problems in school. My name is Magalia Tiveros and I'm in Ms. Thomas' homeroom and I'm running for student council president because I've been here since kindergarten and I understand Pastor's culture and I know what I can and cannot do. The students at Pastor have concerns and really great ideas for the school. I listen to their concerns and represent their ideas. With the help of my council, we'll give you new and exciting field trips and events for the school. Hi, my name is Sandra and I'm from Ms. Mansour's class. I'm running for Student and Body Vice President because even though I'm young, I believe I can win. My name is Melissa and I'm in 8th grade. I want to be a Vice President because I want to make it like this school better. Hi, my name is Nayeli. I'm from Ms. Mansour's 6th grade class and I'm running for Treasurer because I want to make a difference in our school. Hi, my name is Christopher Ducre. I'm in Ms. Clark's class and I'm in sixth grade and I want to run for treasure because I'm responsible, respectful, and kind and also very funny. Um, also, if you don't vote for me, like your pillow is going to be warm. I don't want that and you're going to step on a couple of Legos barefoot. From experience, so far too good. And you might get a habit of drinking orange juice after brushing your teeth, so vote for me. Hi, my name is Sarah Johnson, and I'm going as uh, Sarah Perry. Please vote for me. Good luck to all of those student council candidates. We look forward to voting that will take place very soon. 
That does conclude our announcements for today. Our words of wisdom are on judging others. Good morning, Pastor Pride. This is Mrs. Acosta with a few words of wisdom. When we judge someone, we form an idea or a belief about that person. For example, if we see someone begging on the street, we might assume that that person is just too lazy to work. But what if he or she is unable to work for some reason? You'll never really understand unless you take the time to get to know that person. There's an old Jewish proverb that goes like this. Do not judge others until you have stood in their place. Maybe we can't always stand in another person's place or take the time to get to know him or her. But we can do this. We can keep an open mind and not jump to conclusions. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Acosta. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend, Pastor.